today's video, we're going to be focusing on our Yamaha BWS, also known as Azuma in other parts of the world. And the, what we're going to be doing is opening up the CVT transmission and changing out the clutch and the variator. CVT transmissions on these scooters over time will fail. The two failure points are going to be the clutch. You have a wearable material that you'll see when I take the clutch out. And up front in the transmission, you have a variator that has rubber rollers that are inside that, that wear out as well. Once those parts start to wear out, tolerances become too large and it no longer functions as expected. Typical issues you're gonna see when these parts start to wear out is very poor acceleration off from a stop. And in this case, that's what we're experiencing here. So we're going to open up the CVT transmission, remove the old parts, and install new. To be noted, we will be installing upgraded parts into this Yamaha scooter, so they're more performance-oriented. Looking at the transmission cover, you're going to have multiple 5mm hex bolts that will need to be removed. As well up front, there are two Phillips screws that connect the air filter box to the transmission cover. Using your 5mm hex, go ahead and remove all those bolts, taking note that some are longer than others, so remember where they went. Then, using your Phillips screwdriver, remove the two Phillips screws. At this point, the transmission cover could be pulled away and placed aside. Here up front we have the variator, and in the back is the clutch. In the middle, connecting the two, is the drive belt. As noted previously, for this installation we went with more performance-oriented parts. Here you could see the part numbers of the parts that were purchased. The parts shown here are the clutch bell, the clutch, and thirdly, the variator. If we open it up, we could see the rubber rollers inside. And finally, a bushing sleeve. It is highly recommended that you put chocks on either side of the back tire to stop the scooter from rolling. With a 17 millimeter socket on an impact gun, we're gonna go and remove the two fasteners, one for the clutch as seen here, and secondly, one for the variator. We will start by removing the variator, taking note of the placement of the various washers, nuts, star nuts, and thrust washers. With the variator disassembled, we can remove the drive belt. In order to facilitate, start disassembling the clutch to give slack to the belt. Clutch disassembly will be shown next. The variator can now be disassembled, taking apart its various parts. Here we can see the rubber rollers that are quite worn out, as well as the rolling surfaces that have worn as well. Next, the clutch can be disassembled by removing the clutch bell, and then the clutch can be removed. Here we can see the friction surfaces of the clutch that are quite worn. For preparation of installing the new clutch, we will need to remove the pulley from the clutch assembly. Sandwiched in between is a torque spring. This large nut will need to be removed. The clutch assembly can be placed into a vise, being careful not to put too much force as you could warp the pulley. With the clutch assembly in the vise, either a large spanner wrench or channel locks could be used to loosen that nut. With the retaining nut loosened, it can now be taken off the rest of the way by hand. Keeping in mind there is extreme tension put on it by that spring. Push down on the assembly and unscrew the nut by hand, holding firmly. Once the nut is removed, release gently, taking pressure off the spring. When installing the new clutch, take note that there are flat edges that need to be lined up to the corresponding on the pulley. In this step, it is advised to have two people, one person to push down on the clutch and put tension on the spring, 
while a second person starts to tighten the retaining nut. The following demonstrates just how worn the friction material was on the old clutch and how much larger the friction material is on the performance clutch. Before installation of the new clutch bell, make sure to use some brake cleaner to clean off the mating surface and remove any contamination. Installation of the new variator will be the opposite of what you did to take it apart. Making sure you're keeping the same sequence for the washers, bolts that you did when you took it apart. In this view, I wanted to give a more expanded look and that's why you'll see me reinstalling the variator once again. In order to facilitate getting the belt on, it is best to install the variator and clutch as one piece. For the two retaining nuts, again, use your impact gun with the 17 millimeter socket to secure them. Lastly, we will use our 5 mm hex as well as our Phillips screwdriver and resecure all the fasteners for the transmission cover. There you have it. That's how you change out the clutch and the variator on this Yamaha BWS or Zuma 50cc scooter. Thanks for watching.